we were primary control vessels, so we went and took a place approximately maybe 12, 1400 yards offshore. And our job was to direct in the waves that the beach master wanted. Primary, they come in, the Higgins boats, and they'd form circles around our ship, two big circles out here. As the beach master wanted something in, we'd signal them, they'd go hit the beach, whatever the hell happened to be. And most of those poor bastards were seasick. They are puking over the side of the boat while they are going ashore. Never wanted to be in the Army. Now the first waves in were the rocket ships went in and bombarded the beach. The next waves were amphibious tanks. When they got approximately abreast with us or just prior to past us going to the beach, they all sunk. So we stopped what we were doing and started to rescue all the people that did survive the tank sinking then came to the surface. The water was so cold, they couldn't survive more than five or 10 minutes and were unconscious and we put swimmers in the water or uh, what have you. And all it says in the naval records is that we spent the next 45 minutes <laughs> rescuing these people and that was it. So that's the only uh, thing that's in the Navy history that what we did at D-Day. I never saw one person that was hit by fire on D-Day. I just consider myself very, very lucky.